Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk you through opening your brokerage account. Now there are many brokers that you can choose and it really just depends on what suits you but this is the broker I use, this is JAFX. If you want to take a look at some of the other brokers and what they have to offer then there are a number of them listed on the IML website. So basically when you come to JAFX you've got a choice between opening a new account or a demo account and I'm going to click on open a new account. Now what we say is that if you're starting out with the Swipe Trades app or the Harmonix Scanner it's definitely worthwhile having a practice account first so you may want to open a demo account first and it's exactly the same process apart from you would just click that open demo account button instead of the open account button and again you would just fill in all your details as we're going to do um, now. but your real account um, you can use for the auto traders because obviously you're not making the decisions so you can you're safe to go straight into real money account with the auto traders if you wish to do that um, if you are just going down the route of using things like the harmonic scanner and the swipe trades app then you definitely want to be practicing on a demo account first so as you can see we've come to um, this account page and it's just asking us to fill in some details and click create account now I'm just going to very quickly pause the recording and fill in those details for security purposes um, and I'll be just back in two seconds okay so once you've filled in the details on that form you'll be brought to your login page and then you can just add in your login information and it will take you to your account okay so as you can see we've been brought to the account landing page so when you first set up your account there's two things that you need to do the first thing is that it's going to ask you for some documents to basically prove who you are so you just click on the documents up here and you will receive an email about this and it's asking to upload address verification and personal verification so these can be things like passport driving license a utility bill and this is just to confirm with the broker that you are a real person you are who you say you are so it's important to get those things uploaded as quickly as possible because otherwise your account is not actually live and active so to do that you can simply scan them in or take a photograph on your phone and just click upload document there and upload that and it takes usually around about 12 to 24 hours and that's usually during working hours to um, process that verification and for that to go live and so that's the first thing you need to do and um, one other thing you'll notice is that if you go to your profile and I'm not going to click on it just for security reasons but you'll notice that a lot of the data is probably incorrect for example on my account they've got me as a male my date of birth is incorrect and I contacted support regarding this um, and they said it's not an issue at all it's not going to stop you trading or anything like that it's a system error and it's on most people's accounts so don't worry about that so I'm going to actually go over how to deposit funds and uh, make transfers in the account at a later date. So if I just quickly go on to my accounts what you'll see is it actually starts you off with a load of landing accounts in different currencies now the only one we are going to use is the dollar account now at the moment it has a landing account and if you were to deposit funds right now that's where your money would end up in this landing account here however once your accounts verified and live what you're going to do is add accounts and you're going to add an account for your auto trader and an account for your manual account and you'll be able to transfer money between the accounts in the brokerage account so you kind of have multiple mini accounts within your brokerage account um, and the reason for that is because we can rename them different things and it makes it that little bit easier for organization but I have done a video on this later so you don't need to worry too much about it for now for now just get the account created and upload your documents now I realize that I've done this on the JAFX platform however this is going to be very very similar from different brokers to brokers so you just need to go through that account process and that verification process to make your account live so I hope that's been helpful any questions please do ask